Now to get started, I'm gonna make a few assumptions and that is firstly that you have your video already recorded and your files imported into Premiere Pro. Here you can see I've got a video already imported. There I am representing the Waterman and Squad. Make sure you join up below just to annoy Pete. And we've got our video file and our audio track for the dialogue underneath it. Now as you can see with the waveforms here, it's quite a quiet recording. And I'll play that to you so you can see with the volume is how quiet it actually is. It's by the cheapest things possible and make them in a list. So here we have, so as you can see, it's only peaking at around minus 12. And what we're gonna to do today is a really quick, less than 30 second hack on how to bring that volume up without really distorting it or changing the sound of it too much to really make this dialogue pop. So we're gonna be working with a thing called a compressor. So in order to do that, let's open up our audio track mixer. If you've not got it in your window, make sure you click window, audio track mixer. And then we're gonna go up here to the top left with this little arrow. We're gonna click on that. And it's gonna show us a whole bunch of drop down menus for all the different audio tracks in our project where we can place effects on, which will affect all of the audio on that track. So for audio track one here, any effects we place on in this drop down menu will be on all of the audio across this track here. We're gonna look for amplitude and compression and go down to single band compressor. That's gonna load a compressor into the first effects slot. So let's double click on that and open our compressor up. Threshold's the first one we're gonna be looking at and we work from zero down through the minus figures and that's the point in which it's gonna start working. Once your audio breaks this threshold, it will start being compressed. And if I press play on our track, five really cheap tripods for under 30 pounds. You can see on the, on the right here on this track mix that it's peaking between minus 18 and minus 12. So I'm just gonna take our threshold and drop that down to be let's say around minus 17. So now my dialogue will start to be compressed by this compressor. Ratio, this is the amount it will be compressed. So really, we just wanna set this to a kind of rule of thumb setting. That's somewhere between four to one or five to one. So I'm gonna set that at five to one. Attack is how quickly the compressor will start working and release is how quickly it will stop working. Now, if you're unsure, by all means, make sure you play around with these, see how it affects how the dialogue sounds, but if you just want to work quickly, just leave them as they are. Now comes the important one, and that's the output gain. So what we've done so far is we have compressed or squashed our dialogue. So the difference between the loudest bit and the quietest bit's now closer together. Now we have that squashed, we can turn the whole thing up to a louder volume. So if I press play on this dialogue, at Ingaf, we've been making these grab and go reviews. And as we play it, I'm gonna move this output gain up. So let's start going up to plus seven. This, this equipment's quite expensive. So what we'll go to plus 10, because we've got a bit more headroom there. What we've started to do is buy the cheapest things possible. So there we have it. The compressor has worked on the dialogue by squashing the difference between the loud bits and the quiet bits of my voice. And at the end of it has turned the whole thing up. So we now have a voice that pops a bit more on the mix is just generally a bit louder. Now to really hear the benefit of this, I'm gonna switch the compressor off and we'll play my dialogue before and then after when I switch it back on. So this is with it off. Why don't you go and watch the video and see which ones? And this is with it on. Just look down here and make it up yourself. At Ingaf, we've been making these grab and go reviews for a while. The problem is this equipment's quite expensive. So if your dialogue is quiet, you could just say, let's just turn the volume up of that track. The problem with that is that you've only got up to six dB to turn your track up into. So there's not much headroom if your recording's quite quiet. But also the benefit of using a compressor over using volume is that a compressor won't turn up the noise that's in your recording. It will only turn up the bit that's compressed, the part of your voice that breaks the threshold. So basically the loudest bits. That means you get a louder recording but with less noise on it. It's a more pro way of getting a louder dialogue in there after the event of recording. So that's it, a really quick and simple way of getting your dialogue to pop in your videos. Compression, I'd say use it all the time on every single recording you have, even if it's sparingly, it will make the world of difference to how your videos sound. Uh, took a bit longer than I expected, AJ. I've been sat here playing with this, uh, thinking how so much longer? Can we get this straight? You've been playing with your ball? Or been playing with your head? Oh, I've been playing with my head. Have you been giving yourself head? Is this all right for Article 13? Right. In case this future, in case in the future, yeah. this video gets blocked, yeah. write down what you think the possible causes of copyright could be. That was interesting. Could have been any of those. Yeah.
There's some good ideas coming in. And I didn't realise chocolate spread would make that much mess. We hope you got something out of today's video. We enjoyed making it. You enjoyed watching it. Yeah. Don't forget to leave a like on the video. Oh, that's nice of you. Like. Don't forget to leave your comments below as well about joining the Waterman Squad. Merch coming soon. Probably won't be. Definitely will be. Um, but yeah, that's about it for this right. week, I think. So, you know. Done. Um, well, they've got something out of it. You're going. We enjoyed making it. And I just don't see any point in the endings, you know. Endings are overrated now, anyway. All right, then. Well. So, yeah, that's, that's, that's it. That's it, then. Me. Yeah. All right. As long as you're done. Okay. Yeah. Cheers, AJ. All right, then. Yeah. Uh, see ya. Oh. 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 He's going. He's going. He's drowning. Okay, and then back onto the chair, and he's, he's just out of shot. That was actually really hard to do. That was a good ending. Thanks. Yeah, different. Acting. Easy.